Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Lewis Lewis Speaks 2023, and today I want to talk to you all about the challenges of being single. You know, personally, I'm a firm believer that being single is a gift. There are so many things you get to do when you are single. At the same time, there are certain challenges that every single person must navigate. And I want to highlight one of those challenges today. You know, one of the challenges is that people feel entitled to your time, energy, and resources. They feel that because you are single, you have this infinite amount of time and they oftentimes try to use you in the service of their dreams, their aspirations and their personal ambitions. They don't realize that you have a life, that you have dreams, ambitions and responsibilities all your own. They just think and have this misguided perception that you have this infinite amount of time. And that's not real, that's not the truth. The reality is this, as a single person, you oftentimes have to navigate this world alone. And that can be very difficult when you don't have the benefit of a partner, the benefit of children, the benefit of additional support systems. But a lot of times people don't get that. I feel personally that single people are definitely an endangered species in the sense that they're oftentimes used to fund somebody else's life, fund their mission. You know, the moment that you tell somebody that you're single, especially somebody who is partnered or who has children, you automatically are used as a daycare system. You're used as a therapist, as a counselor. You're used as a sounding board. People just want to use you. As a single person, you, you seriously have to protect your energy because there are so many emotional vampires out there, so many just users who just want to use your energy, who just want to drain you of your energy and use your life in the service of their needs. They don't factor in the fact that you have a life of your own, that you have interests and hobbies and dreams of your own. They don't factor that in. All they see is a person that is unpartnered, uncoupled, and without children. And what can this person do for me? They look at you. And that's the thing about this world. People are just always looking at somebody, asking themselves, what can this person do for me? How can I use them in the service of me? They're never asking themselves, what can they give? No, they're always looking at people in terms of what they can get. So single people, this message is for you. You have to protect your energy from all the vultures and the vampires out there who just want to use you. People feel entitled to your time. They feel as though you have this infinite amount of time. And that's not the truth. You have responsibilities. But once again, people see your single nature and they just want to just have all these designs on it. So that's why I mentioned you have to really, really, really make a conscious effort to protect your own energy. And what does that mean? That means to set boundaries. If people have these misperceptions about being single, you have to clarify those misperceptions. Don't passively sit by because I used to do that. Passively sit by and let people guilt me into providing assistance because oftentimes that's what you'll get. You'll get people that try to emotionally blackmail you and try to make you feel guilty for taking care of yourself and investing in yourself. No, you will not be made to feel guilty about choosing and electing to be single because I think for one, that takes discipline. That takes tremendous, a tremendous amount of discipline to be single, especially in a world that tries to convince you that you're nobody unless somebody loves you. That's, that's, that's a total misconception. And I definitely wanna clear that up. You know, you are valuable, you are worth it, and you are also strong. You're strong because you're able to find creative ways to get your needs met without the benefit of a partner. So my thing is this, don't allow people to sit up there and try to guilt you or make you feel inferior because you choose and elect to be single. As I mentioned before, that takes a tremendous amount of discipline. And also planning. As a single person, 
I know me personally, I have to plan more. I have to make sure that I have certain things in my home, especially during winter or, you know, inclement weather. You have to make sure that you have certain things in your home so you don't have to go outside if you're sick and you get that first inkling of a cold or flu, you know that you're gonna have to take yourself to the grocery store, pick up all the necessary items because you're gonna be in the house for at least three to four days, getting yourself well, you know, taking good care of yourself and loving on yourself. So you make preparations as a single person. So once again, don't let people sit up there and guilt and shame you. I've had people, family members, friends, try to make me feel ashamed and make me feel bad because I'm single. They try to make me feel as though I have nothing else going on in my life. They, they feel entitled to my time and energy. Like I'm supposed to be this 24 hour hotline that they call whenever they want to gripe and complain about what's going on with their wife or their husband or their kids or their girlfriend, boyfriend, nah, I'm not here for that. I realize also that when you are that type of person that always makes yourself available, you become typecast in this role as foul weather friend. What's a foul weather friend? It's a friend that people only call when they're having bad times, when they want to dump and vent. Then they call you up because they know that you are the type of person that will entertain them you gotta nah shut that down from the door don't entertain anybody else's chaos don't do it especially with people that feel as though your life doesn't count and your life doesn't matter if not in the service of their needs don't do it as i mentioned before single people we must protect our energy we must direct our energy on productive pursuits because it's obvious that people will not, they will not value us. They will only use us in the service of their needs. And so my thing is this, you have to learn, as I mentioned before, setting boundaries, saying no more often, focusing on your own needs, being self-invested and self-full. It's not wrong. It's not wrong to care about others. But it is wrong to care about others at the expense of your needs. I'll say that again. It's not wrong to care about others, but it is wrong to care about others at the expense of your own needs. So you have to keep yourself full. And as a single person, as I mentioned before, there are unique challenges that we have to face. In terms of motivation, we always have to be our own motivation, our own cook, our own counselor, our own doctor at times. There's many hats that we have to wear as single people. We have to be our own mechanics if we drive. We gotta take our cars to get registered and inspected. And we don't have a partner that does that for us. Because if you're in a relationship, typically your partner may cook for you, may take your car in for an inspection or for a checkup. But we don't have that. We have to do all that on our own. So as single people, you definitely have to make sure that you protect your energy because people don't realize it's a challenge. While it's also a benefit and a beautiful thing and that it offers you so much possibility and so much freedom, it also is a responsibility. Singlehood is a responsibility, you know? like raising a family or having a partner is a responsibility. Being single is also a big responsibility. You have to make sure that you keep yourself motivated to do the things that you need to do daily. There's no one here that's going to motivate you when you are single. So you have to motivate yourself. And so once again, don't let people use your life in the service of their needs. Don't let other people guilt and emotionally blackmail you. You have a life that is valuable. As a single person, you have a life that is purposeful, meaningful, and valuable. Don't believe those tired scripts that they try to sell you and those messages that singleness is a sad story and being with yourself is something to be pitied or no, it's something to be praised. 
is something to be valued. And it's the time that you have, you need to use it wisely. Wisely on developing and cultivating your own interests, hobbies, and feelings. I want you right now, all my single people, take your hand, put it to your heart, and pledge allegiance to yourself. You pledge allegiance to yourself because you, you matter. At the end of the day, when all is said and done, you are the one that's left. When everybody decides that they no longer want to be in your life or they are somehow on a different journey, a different path, you are the one that stays. So keep that in mind. So for my single people, I hope that this video has been helpful. I hope that it has not only been educational and instructive, but also just beneficial for you and just validating for you to let you know that you're not alone, that you have the support, that you are in the trenches with someone who understands, who gets it completely. So please protect your energy from the emotional vampires out there who just wanna use it in the service of their own desires. You have a life that's valuable. Act like you know. So this is Lewis Speaks, wishing everybody a wonderful, wonderful day and a wonderful year. Peace, y'all.